Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, previous video, uh, we are we are already talking about the uh, introduction, right? Introduction is a sequence. So this video uh, is just to prove this short five lemma. Yeah, so this is the first exercise uh, of the diagram chasing. So uh, we will be uh, slowly. Okay. So idea is that the diagram chasing. So basically the diagram chasing technique is just, uh, so there's only one trick uh, patient. <laughs> so let's call it short five lemma. So this is the first exercise of the, it's a sequence proof. It's like a, the simple version of next lemma or something, uh, which is uh, like five lemma or nine, like nine lemma. There are lots of such kind of words. Suppose you have this Z sequence, uh, zero ABC. So you have these two short Z and, uh, and this is, let's call it alpha, beta, gamma, and the mu prime, real prime. Uh, yeah, so the, we, yeah, this is the, the setting. Okay, so in a theorem says that uh, if, alpha and gamma are iso, isomorphism, and uh, beta is isomorphism. Okay, so uh, in order to prove it, we need to prove two facts, right? So first fact is that beta is injective, and uh, the second is beta is uh, subjective. Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's do this. Uh, let's quick, let me just quickly pull, pull this, uh, pull this again because uh, we need this diagram. Okay, so alpha. So first we prove that the uh, beta is a uh, subject uh, injective. Okay, so injective means what? Uh, means that uh, any zero, uh, the only thing becomes zero is zero, right? So let's suppose that. Uh, Okay, so let's suppose that you take B belongs to B such that uh, small b such that uh, uh, beta B is zero. And you prove you hope to prove that B is zero, right? So, but you notice that, uh, well, sorry, so I use row here, row prime. Okay. So you notice that uh, your gamma row B will be zero, right? Because uh, uh, this is, so this B is zero, right? but uh, you see, uh, why gamma rho b is zero? Because gamma rho b by definition is a uh, rho prime beta b, right? So because this is the commut this this uh this side is commutative, right? So your uh your beta beta b is zero, so rho prime beta b will be the same as gamma rho b. So this uh, due to the commutative diagram, so it's zero, right? So from here that uh, you know that gamma rho b is zero, so uh this is B, right? This is row B and the uh, gamma row B is here. Okay. So gamma row B, you get gamma row B is zero, right? But the notice that this is this is a short, uh, this is short exact. The, uh, this is short exact, right? So by exactness, which tell you that, uh, so, so you start, you know, notice that the uh, gamma row B is zero. Uh, who tell you that the uh, row B is zero, right? The reason is that I, I, I assume that gamma is injective. Uh, sorry, gamma is isomorphism. Okay. So gamma is isomorphism tell you that the uh, row B is zero. So, okay, by, so by exactness, by exactness. Okay, so you, so you, this, this type, type of fruit uh, need patience, right? So by exactness, if you have row of B zero means that, uh, yeah, so this is row. Your row of B equal zero means that uh, it's come from the image of image of uh, B, right? So that means, uh, uh, sorry, the image of mu, right? This is short exact. So the kernel, well, the same as image. So let's say, so B belongs to kernel of row which is the image of u, right? So there is a, it is the a belongs to a, such that a mu a equals to b, okay? Okay, then, uh, then, then the rest is just trivial. The rest is that, notice that the mu prime alpha a, so you, you know that the mu, mu prime alpha a, right, equals to this diagram. So it's a beta mu a, which is beta b, which is zero, right? And uh, due to that, uh, 
right? So we have this. And uh, by definition, mu price is uh so so now you now uh let's see. So now you get something A here if you map from alpha and the uh, mu prime, you get zero, right? But this uh this is inject at least a at least map is this mu price injective, right? Because this is a sure uh sure exact. So we tell you that alpha a is zero, okay. But the alpha is isomorphism, so alpha is isomorphism. Which tell you that a is zero. So if a is zero, then uh, then you your mu a is b, right? So b is zero. Okay, so who tell you that the beta is injected? Okay, so I uh, hope you guys understand what I'm doing. Yeah, this is a little bit uh, uh, tricky because you need to uh, do it step by step. Okay, so the next, let's write again and uh, prove that the uh, uh, prove that it is uh, the, this beta is a uh, is a uh, surjective. Okay, so the goal is to uh, prove it beta is surjective. So the idea is that we need to pick up for any b prime belongs to b, b prime belongs to b prime. We need to find a b, right? Such that uh, we hope to prove that this beta b equals b prime. So find such b. Uh, mm, okay, so let's uh, let's see. So we have uh, we can see that the row prime b prime. Uh, so let's see. So your this is b prime. So you row prime b prime. Uh, that's will be row b gamma, right? So it will be gamma row b. So let's define. Uh, let's see. So uh, wait, wait. So, wait, wait, sorry, I'm stupid. We, since we need to, uh, we need to find a B here, right? So, so we cannot, we cannot assume that B is already this. So we can see that the row prime B prime uh, will be, will be something in C, right? Uh, something in C prime, but the, which gamma is an isomorphism. So from gamma is isomorphism, I know that uh, there exists a C here, such that the gamma C, okay? Okay, uh, and the C is, and this row is on two, right? It's on two. So you can find a B, it is B such that, uh, such that uh, this row B equals to C. Okay, so it seems like that uh, we already done, right? Because uh, we, we already proved there is, it is the B. Yeah, but uh, this, this does not guarantee that, uh, this does not guarantee that this is, uh, a uh, well-defined, okay. So notice that uh, since we, we now already find a B such as row B equals to C. Okay, so let's see. So we can get row prime beta B equals to gamma row B, right? Equals to gamma C, which is a row prime B prime. Right, so from here that uh, I know that uh, B prime minus beta B belongs to kernel uh, row prime. Okay, by the exactness, this kernel row prime will be uh, will be as image mu prime right so you can find a you can find a a in a a, a, a prime in a prime such that the uh, mu prime of a prime equals to beta uh, b prime minus beta b. okay uh right okay but so so now uh mu so now uh uh, we can find uh, we can find a a prime here, right? Such that uh, mu prime a prime equals beta prime minus beta b, right? But alpha is injective. Uh, alpha is a uh, isomorphism, right? So I can find a uh, another a. So sorry, I we can, I can find another a. So there is this a, such as this a prime is just alpha a, right? Okay, so who tell you that uh, this b prime can be written as a uh, Beta B plus mu prime alpha A, uh, which you can change it into. So you can change mu alpha as a, it's just beta, it's just a beta mu, right? Because uh, mu mu prime alpha is the same as beta mu, right? So you can take out the beta and you get B plus mu A. 
Okay, so from here, uh, what, what we are doing is that we want to show that uh, this is a, this is a, this is well defined, right? Because uh, because now up 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 to here that we already know that uh, oh, there's a b here, uh, which which real row b will be c. But we need to show that uh, we need to show that and, and we need to show that this beta b will be b prime, right? So we need to we, so now we have this. So I I, I prove that uh, b prime minus beta b belongs current row prime equals image mu prime. So finally, I show that this b prime is a uh, beta b plus mu a, right? So yeah, here finally you sh you show that the beta is a uh, subjective. Okay. Yeah. So just just uh from definition. So you see the proof is a little bit uh tricky. You need to do it step by step with curve. Okay. In the next video, uh, we will prove the snake stem. And then we will use snake stem to prove other stem. Okay. See you guys. Uh, next videos. Mm-hmm.